So these are the stations that we need, and these are the elevations that we need. Way, easy to, uh, way easier to do this. This is zero. I need 3.699. So offset 3.699 from my zero. I'm going to have a line here. And then I need to put a point at 319.72. So I offset my 300 by 19.72. And then this intersection over here is where I'm going to draw the point. Does that make sense? I'm going to put a point here. I delete this line, and I delete this line, and I go to the next, 23.699. I can either go from my zero, or I can go from the 20 and add the remaining. So if I want to type the exact number and not the math, I'm going to go 23.699, this line over here, which this line over here. Why is, why is this happening? Why is this happening? It's OSNAP. It's yeah. trying to grab another location. So if I want to turn off OSNAP pretty quickly, I just press function 3. Do you see here that OSNAP got off, on, off, F3. So I turn it off just to do the offset and I can turn it back on if needed, okay? If you experience this problem. Now at 23.699, I should have the elevation of 19.32. Offset, 19.32. I'll offset this one over here. This is the location of that point. I'll add a point here. Point there, delete this line, delete this line too, and I go to the next one. And I'm gonna start adding points to be to build my finished graph. At the end, instead of creating a polyline using C prof C C profile C profile, I use propose instead of C profile um, uh, where is it? C profile existing. Okay, instead of using this one. I'm gonna use superpile propose, and at the end, if I do lay on here, uh, I do lay off because you guys don't see this yet. These are the pipes that we're gonna be doing later. Okay, you're gonna see something like this. You're gonna have the existing ground that sometimes cut and sometimes fill. So, for example, this is where your ex your future ground is gonna be and how it's gonna look like. Okay, now in here. I need to cut my existing ground so I get to the level of my finished ground. So I'm going to remove earth from here. Does that make sense? In here, my finished ground is above my existing ground. So I need to fill here. Later on, you're going to learn how to do the math and calculate how much cut and fill you need to do because that's the cost for the construction. If you need to buy ground from outside or if you're going to just take it from here and put it here, depending if the area matches, that, that you're gonna learn in highway design, okay? It's pretty cool. Now, here, it's, it's just line. Civil 3D, you can actually select this and this, and say, take the area from me, and it'll calculate how much earth and fuel you need to do. So it's, it's, it's very, very nice. Like, um, I get sad teaching this, because I know <laughs> when you learn that, it's gonna be cool. But maybe you're not gonna learn. Who here is in the two-year program? Yeah, so you guys are only going to see one section of civil 3D, and you're not going to learn a lot uh, on that. But then who are on three-year program, if you choose municipal design, then you're going to learn a lot. If you choose building or transportation, then you're not going to see it a lot of either. Okay, civil 3D, this is pretty much municipality, so you need to see municipal uh, stream. Okay? Which, in my opinion, is the best one, but it's personal opinion. So, it's up to you to choose. Do you understand? Yeah? This is what you need to get done by next class, guys. The existing ground and the proposed ground. Next class, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate how do we do the pipes and manholes. Now, for the pipes and manholes, every one of you is going to have different elevation because remember that the slope of the pipe was based on your student number, so that's going to influence the internet, okay? That's going to be a bit... It's, it's not hard, it's just there is math around it and there's a little bit of thinking. But I have provided to you here uh, Excel spreadsheet that we're gonna input some data and it's gonna calculate everything for you based on uh, the length of the pipe that you already have that you put it for the last assignment, as well as the drop. So we're gonna put some information here. It's gonna calculate for you the elevation that you need to draw in the extra, okay? But we don't have to worry uh, about this until next week. I just wanted to make sure that you have a profile ready and you have the existing ground and the proposed ground uh, completed by next class. Now, this, the way to do this, and this is simple,
similar, just this one we are using uh, the contours from the plan to actually do it instead of uh, doing the way that I did on the board right now. Is that fair? Do you understand? Yeah? Okay, keep working on it and I'll be helping you guys out. Okay? Just this one. Yeah.